what's up guys welcome back to another video and this is the sequel of my previous video that is i i am recording this video right after i stopped recording that video so uh let's continue from where we left off in this video guys if you haven't watched my previous video kindly watch it once otherwise you won't uh, get along with the flow of this video so in our last video we saw how to uh, add new documents to your firestore collections and uh, not only that we also saw how to uh, access those documents read those data and uh, display it on your mobile screen right in this video let's talk about updating and deleting the uh, data all right first of all uh, what i'm going to do is write code for update and delete first and then i'll start to integrate those into my uh, dashboard page first i'll do update data update uh, data and i'll need a selected uh, document the document that i need to update and i need new values okay and inside this i'll be having firestore dot instance uh, dot collection collection will be the test crud and uh, uh, document document will be selected doc selected doc is nothing but the id of that particular document guys this id it will show you this id once we have this id we can get into this collection get directly into whichever document we want and then go ahead and update the fields in there right car name and color right uh, so dot update data what's the data new values new values dot uh, catch error print error right so we have written code for updating the document we'll also write code for deleting uh, data uh, for this we just need the document id to be deleted uh firestore same way firestore dot instance dot collection uh test cred dot uh, document doc id dot update data uh not update data sorry delete data right delete dot catch error cool right so we have written code for updating and deleting uh, documents the next thing i told i i mean i said i would uh, show you guys is the real time uh, updation of data as and when it happens in the database so to do that we are going to be using the concept of streams guys as of now we are returning a query snapshot from here right from here we are returning a query snapshot to get to change this as a stream simply return the snapshots directly see it's showing right this change means that this will be a stream okay to handle that stream let's get back into uh, what was that dashboard dot dart and as of now uh, okay this will be a stream now right this will be a stream now and if that is a stream then if cars not equals null we need to convert this into a stream as well right we'll simply make use of a stream builder return stream builder stream cars uh builder context snapshot this will be a function and inside this we'll return the list view builder that we already have so that we get all the data one one after the other like a, a list instead of cars it should be snapshot dot data dot documents dot length and uh, here as well instead of cars it should be snapshot dot data dot documents of i and here as well it should be snapshot dot data dot documents dot color right uh upon tapping this we'll have on uh, on tap we'll make use of this to call a uh, dialog okay another dialog uh, that is the add dialog this is the add dialog right dialog i don't think i need to explain again 
it's exactly almost similar i mean it's almost similar to add dialog uh, add data okay this will be update dialog update data enter car name enter car color everything is the same uh, except the fact that it's going to update and we don't need to trigger this all these crud object dot update data here we need to give the selected document right so update dialog i will get the document selected document okay and here in here i'll simply pass the uh, selected document comma the data to be updated and uh, yeah that's it now what i'll do is from here i wrote the on tap method here right here i'll simply give uh, uh, update dialog uh, context selected doc selected doc will be the snapshot dot data dot documents of I. right so whenever the user taps on a particular uh, do, i mean particular item in the list uh, that particular item will be the selected document right that selected documents id so documents of i dot uh, so documents dot i documents of i dot document id cool right uh, this is for update and for delete we need to do on long press another function delete dialog uh, uh, no not uh, sorry <laughs> what am i doing crud object dot delete data uh, snapshot dot data dot documents of i dot document id id right so crud will be returning the uh, stream or is it stream and oh okay i'll use this it's, this is for adding crud will be return uh, returning the stream here and then i'm making use of that stream in my dashboard dot dot to uh, get the i mean update the data using a stream builder and not only that i'm also using that to delete data update dialog is nothing but a uh, dialog that will simply invoke the update uh, function in the crud to uh, update the selected document that's it let's run this app and see what happens guys we have uh, our device here and you can see that all the four uh, documents from my uh, firso collection got loaded into the screen as well now let's try out the update and uh, delete okay and let's also see whether all these changes happen in real time so i'll just go ahead and uh, mm, change this range rover to land rover okay range rover is which document this is the document right i'll change it to land rover and let's see what happens so i'm changing it to land uh, rover i'm updating wow as you saw it automatically got updated here and not only that it i mean it didn't automatically get updated here it got updated here because we wrote code in such a way that it will get updated here but that update was automatically reflected on your screen as well due to the streams streams pro have provided this instantaneous real time connection which literally connected our data store with our front end screen and then as and when the change happened here it got reflected in our screen on our screen as well right for instance let me go ahead and just delete this bentley bentley is my first uh, entry right this is the entry now if i delete this long long press this it will automatically get deleted and it should delete this document here as well right let's see what happens wow you saw that the change was instantaneous right the update was instantaneous on the screen as well as the uh, firso collection let me add a new document and see if the change gets reflected here as well so i'll add the bentley back uh black add see the bentley got added here right 
So our streams is working fine, which means that, I mean, uh, because we can see that uh, whatever change is happening in this particular test crud is getting reflected on the uh, screen as well. We can also do a lot of other stuff, guys. We can write in-depth queries. We can also modify streams in such a way that only changes that we want will be reflected on the screen and uh, it will ignore the other changes. And we can do a lot of a variety of other stuff like that. We will see each of those in our forthcoming videos. Okay. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, the streams is literally a game changer, as you can see here. It provides that real-time effect uh, between the data store and the front-end screen. Anyway, uh, before we wrap up, I'll also talk a little about these rules. Rules, I just changed it yesterday uh, so that only authenticated users can uh, write, update, read and delete uh, documents inside this Firestore collection. There are a lot of stuff you could do with these rules, guys. Rules provide literal security. I mean, rules are literally for providing security uh, to the data stored in your Firestore collections. We'll talk about rules exclusively in, the, in, a, in a forthcoming videos. Maybe I'll make two or three videos talking only about these Firestore rules. Anyway, we'll discuss all these in detail in our uh, uh, forthcoming videos, guys. So kindly subscribe. That's what my point is. Kindly subscribe and stay. click on the notifications icon so that you don't miss any of my uploads. If you found this particular video helpful, kindly hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone so that others might find it, uh, others might find it useful as well. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe, it's free. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.